Tomato Pizza, Skyhawk Talk with Coach Heath Schroyer. How are you, Coach? Good to see you. Good, Chris. I'm good. How yeah, are you? I'm good. You've been hopping all around the country here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It's uh, a schedule like I've never seen before. We, yeah. we, uh, we stay on the road. You inherited much of that. We'll have more yes. home games next season, I think. For sure. Okay. For sure. Yeah, yeah, we're working on scheduling right now, but we'll definitely have more than four in the preseason, that's for sure. Before we talk about the games, last week you and the team went to Florida, and then you went from Florida to Nebraska, which a lot of people don't do, and then you went from Nebraska back to Tennessee. How was Thanksgiving with the team? It was great. You know, um, it's our, you know, it's a family away from family, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, we were all spending together, and we practiced uh you know, at Nebraska that earlier that day and then, uh, you know, went out to eat and got a great meal and came back and did some more film and here we go. Yeah, it's different that most people don't experience a Thanksgiving <coughs> like, like you would with mm -hmm. the team. Uh, right. And I do think that the players kind of enjoy being together like that. Yeah. It helps bond the team. It, it does. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time and, uh, you know, I, I can't remember the last time I've sp had a holiday at home 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 so mm -hmm. um you know it's just part of the gig and yeah. you know it's what you sign up for as a player and sign up for as a coach and but it is it's it's uh, there is something nice about being on the road as a group and the bonding experience of thanksgiving and all the things that we're thankful for about having the chance to play division one basketball and coach division one basketball and so uh, we, we try to take advantage of it. Even if you are at home on Thanksgiving, your players are from all over the country. They're going to be, they're going to be around, and you're probably going to spend Thanksgiving together. Yeah, no question. I mean, uh, you know, we're going to be in the gym somewhere on Thanksgiving. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just how it goes. But, uh, you know, the, I mean, you know, it's just it, like I said, it's it's what you sign up for as a coach and a player. And but there's there's really some some true positives about it because you're able to to be together and bond, uh, you know, in that kind of environment. Coach, let's talk about the uh, the Bethune-Cookman mm -hmm. game. That was down in Daytona. Your team jumped out to an early lead. You're up 38-27 at the half. You outscore mm -hmm. them in the second half and win 74-56. Really a solid win almost mm -hmm. from wire to wire there. I thought we played really well. I thought defensively it was, it, um, you know, we had a great game plan. Um, you know, I thought we, uh, you know, we guard the three, which has been kind of a concern for us. You know, I thought that um, – you know, especially early in the game, um, you know, we did a nice job of getting out to shooters. Um, but I, th I thought the best thing we did is we really shared the basketball. Um, you know, we were really good in transition. We were able to, we played at a really good pace. And this team is continuing to find itself and getting better. And um, I'm excited about the progress we've made. Your I don't, I don't know if there's a stat on this, but your assist to field goal ratio has just been phenomenal mm -hmm. to me. This, I mean, even in that game, you had 14 assists to 22 field goals, which is telling me, you're unselfish, um, and you're finding the open teammates through ball movement. Yeah, and we really try to emphasize um, taking really good shots and having great possessions. And, you know, after every game, we, we grade out the game um, as a staff, and then we show them film of that game. And we'll always put three, four, five good offensive possessions where the ball doesn't go in. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do that is to – continue to let them know it's it, it's not just a result oriented thing it's a right. process oriented yeah. so you know a great offense look we got the ball you know inside we got it out we got it to the second side we got it to the third side wide open shot didn't go in we keep taking those shots that's what we want and you know consequently we've been able to just shoot a pretty high percentage um you know we got to get our turnovers down a little bit um but uh you know we have we've emphasized it from day one about team about shot selection and, um, and our guys have really bought into it. it is, how is shot selection defined by you? And how are you clear with the players the difference between a good shot and a bad shot? Um, you know, is it a shot within what it is that we do in your rhythm? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we really want to try to emphasize three things. We want to try to get paint and post touches. We want to get open threes, and we want to get to the free throw line. Those are the top three. And then, obviously, we're going to have some open mid-range jumpers. But, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to – you know, the, the statistics, you know, back this up is we're trying to, to play the, the play the odds, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, contested long twos are really hard to make a living on those. Right. You know, you want to have. When, when you say long two, <clears throat> you mean 15 to 19? 15 to 19. Okay. Yeah, 12 to 19. Okay. Um, you know, th those, if, if you're taking the majority of your shots from that area, you have to shoot an unbelievably high percentage to uh, to, to, to truly win the game right um, you know we, we really try to get the ball paint post open threes free throws mm -hmm. um, you because know. you can shoot 33 percent from three-point range 50 percent from the field and you score the same amount of points that's exactly right um, you know and so 
<clears throat> I'm so sorry. Oh, I good. got a really you're bad uh, chest cold. But, um, but yeah, we've, we've talked about that, you know, all the time. Um, you know, we, we, I mean, from day one in practice, we talk about good shot, bad shot. Now, we've also, and, and I heard Coach McMillan, you know, kind of talk about this a little bit. You know, and we've said, hey, look, if – you know, if Marshawn's just made two shots in a row, mm-hmm. um, you know, A, I'm going to run something to try to get him the third one. And if he takes a third one that might not be the perfect one, you know, he's got it rolling. And, right. and we and we understand that as a team. And the just, bill got hot the other night. That's right. You know, and w- if he took a couple of those shots, you know, early in the game when he wasn't rolling, you know, I'd, I, you know, I would be saying, hey, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. That's not – but we talk, and, and we even talk about that in timeouts. Hey, Marshawn's got it going. Hey, Deville's got it going. Let's let, let's run this to get him open, so that again they understand and they hear it from me that, okay, so we're going to give a little more rope here because he's got it going. Just like if Miles or Arkeem have it going in the post, we need to throw it in there. And um, so we're just, you know, I, I've said from day one the secret is that there's no secret. I just tell them 100% the truth. Um, Sometimes, and I tell them all the time that. If you're if you're overly sensitive, I'm a hard guy to play for. <laughs> um, you know, I love them all, and you know, but I, I'm going to tell. And, and I would, I just want to be a, a program, and I want to be around people that are just going to be brutally honest, mm-hmm. um, because that's the way you grow. Um, well, and it's not about you, and it's not about them. That's right. It's about the team. That's right. And um, you know, and everyone's going to have their nights. Everyone's, you know, we we all talk about, you know, everyone's going to eat. Um, you know, there's going to be games where DeVille has 25. There's going to be games where Marshawn has 20 mm-hmm. or 25, or, you know, and there's going to be games where, you know, no one can stop Miles on the block. And we got to be able to be mature enough and understand it's his night or not my night, and, but we all have to guard. We all have to share the ball. And the one thing I think we're doing a much better job is we're early in the ball up in transition. Um, we have four different players that can push the ball in transition. Yeah. When Tamond is at the four, we allow him to push the ball and we space around him, mm-hmm. which makes it really hard to guard and gives us some advantages in the early clock. Coach, one, one final thought before we go to sure. this break is, you know, you talk about that unselfishness, and I've so seen it with your team. I'm impressed with the players. These guys in high school and in junior college, they were the man. Mm-hmm. I mean, they probably had the most shots on the team. Um, mm-hmm. How do you get them to buy into that so quickly, or do you just simply not tolerate selfishness? I, I really just don't. I mean, um, you know, the bench is a great motivator. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it, it's, you know, how you communicate with different kids is sometimes a little bit different, but we show a lot of film. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, we talk to them um, just about, you know, I, I mean, no one – Everyone wants to have an opportunity to play professionally when they're done. Right. You know, every college basketball player does. And and I've been very fortunate to have 69 guys that have signed pro contracts. And, and I tell this team and I tell every team that no one wants to pay guys off teams that lose. Right. No matter, no matter where you are in the world, if you're a coach and you're a general manager, and it can be in Spain or Guam, you, the question that they ask every time is, is he a winner? Do they come from winning programs? So you can average 20 on a losing team, and you're not going to – I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Every, every team has a, a leading score. Mm-hmm. So we're all very open and honest about those conversations. Um, we talk about good shot, bad shot. We talk about this is a better shot. This is a good shot for Marshawn. Might not be a great shot for D. This is a great shot for D. Might not be a great shot for Marshawn because all of your game is a little bit different. Right. So and I think by communicating that, people understand and start to figure out what each other does. Um, and offensively, we start to flow a little better. Okay. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more with Heath Troyer as we talk UT Martin basketball. From Snappy Tomato Pizza, Skyhawk Talk continues on the UT Martin Skyhawk Sports Network.